My name is Andrea Rocha. I am a songwriter, producer, cellist, and string arranger. Focus Right has asked me to produce a track along with three other musicians, and we're gonna all get together and make this little idea that I have come to life. So Sipo sent me a bunch of ideas, so I downloaded a few of them, and I ended up really liking this vocal loop that he sent me. Um, I'll show you the raw form. So yeah, it just feels really cool to start with that on its own. So I sped it up a bit and added some hip hop kind of drums. The first interface I had was the Scarlet. Now I've had the opportunity to play with the Claret Plus and it's just like a massive step up. I am Sipo. I make music, write it, form it, live it, breathe it. With the Claret Plus, I feel like Having a chance to sit down with it, you know, play with all the different kind of tweaks and actually being able to use the uh, Focusrite control as well. It's made it a bit more interactive with my system because I've found with a lot of interfaces, there's no kind of rendezvous point between the two. The Focusrite control kind of gives like a bridge so it's easier to set up. It's something I could sit down in any room with and show most people how to use. I'm Jacob Bogdan, I'm a guitarist and producer. I work with Biba Doobie and I'm signed to Dirty Hit. So right now we're in Sleeper Sounds, which is definitely one of my favorite studios. But we're doing B's next album here and it sounded great. I've been sent this track by Andrea with Sipo's vocals on it. Um, I'm gonna have a little play around with it today, try some synths out, try some guitars and see what happens. I've been working with the Claret Plus. It's a really cool interface from Focusrite. Things I like the most about it are that you can send things to reamp really easily. You've got MIDI in and out, so you can program MIDI on your door, send it to other synths. The mic pre's on this interface really sound great. You have four, so you can be recording four microphones at once. This one will definitely be coming on the road with me. So Jacobs sent me a bunch of guitar parts, kind of clean parts, distorted parts for me to play with. And then he sent me like a whole folder of since I'm excited to kind of get my hands into it. We're gonna be going into The Pool, which is one of my favorite studios in London. And we're gonna be recording live drums and there's gonna be an amazing bass player there. And then Sipo and I will have a top line ready that he's gonna record and perform on the day. So we're gonna be working with Darren Helis, who I've worked with in the past and He's an amazing engineer, so he'll be there to help us out on the day, getting everything set up and recorded. Ideally, a solid song and a solid kind of product is made up of anywhere from three to five very simply established things. Anyway, I'm, just, I'm still trying to figure out how to breathe. I like love that. Many options for that. That's perfect. How did you come up with a little vocal loop? Sometimes you just have ideas that just never go anywhere. Mm. So I sent you like all of the ideas that I've just not touched ever since they've like been made. Like I approach this as everyone kind of having their own moment, which is why I think it's really cool starting with just vocals and then adding guitar and then drums and bass come in quiet and then it builds into this big thing. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a lot. I'm Joel. I play the drums in the band called Wolf Alice. To be quite honest with you, I'm quite enjoying going in with not really thinking about it too much. It's been quite quite fun for me. You know, following Andrea's lead with it, and there's some amazing ideas already floating about this morning. I mean, it's a pleasure to play with us amazing musicians and talented people. It's been really a creative process to be in the room with a band, bouncing ideas off each other, and it's just felt really organic and raw. The difference is super clear. I think music comes alive more when everyone's in the room jamming to it. I've always found that with Focusrite products, that it's really warm but clear. I think you're dealing with really great sound. Yeah, I think that's really, it's really audible today. You know, that's, that's a nice kit, but still, like, it can get muddied up and it sounds crystal clear. So I'm really happy with that. Cool. All right, I'm ready when you are. Just give me, like, a bar in. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Ooh. I prefer the challenge sometimes, innit? It's like you'd rather be able to go into a room and, like, 
be consumed by the energy of what you're doing rather than overthinking something that you thought about ages ago. And you might never run to my arms. Solid stuff. Solid. Did the job. I like it. I was loving what came out of the Claret Plus, man. Like the way the proof seemed to kind of interact with the with the with the room, and and then even being able to like hear the kind of warmth on my vocal, I guess. I guess that kind of came from it. So we used the air function on the drums, the kind of toppy end of the drum shaker, and on the vocals to bring out that crisp high end sound. Today I've been so impressed with the air function. With cymbals, sometimes if you're pushing the top end, it just becomes a mush, and I think it's so impressive to be able to hear it kind of cutting on the top end, and it's really percussive and clear, and not too garish. That's really important for me, especially with the kind of drums that I like to play. Well, I think as great as it is having musicians in the room together, it's not always the easiest thing, so it was really useful for everyone to have their own Claret Plus interface and they were able to send me parts like the guitarist wasn't able to be here today so he was able to send me a really high quality guitar stems for me to then input into my project and play around with. I kind of came in today thinking like we've got these three amazing people Let's just let them do what they do best. They can all improv, they can all play their instruments super well. So I knew it would all come together. I was a bit nervous that we didn't have a top line, but Sipo proved me wrong. He's a genius. And <laughs> we just did a bunch of takes and let them do their thing, and it turned out really well. His vocal sounds insane. <laughs> it's not every day you get amazing musicians at your disposal. So it's been really, really fun having a live drum kit, live bass, and a singer that can just do everything. The sound from the uh, Claret Plus kind of gave me that little bit more detail that you usually want when you're kind of doing something, you know, professional. I feel good about it. You know what I mean, you feel good about what came out of it. 